What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back. Today I will be doing a Kim K smoky eye using only drugstore products. Now I saw this look on Kim a while ago. Makeup by Ariel did it. I think he's usually like Kylie's makeup bar. I saw this look on her and I was like I need to do that. Like I need to challenge myself to do a matte full coverage full glam kind of look listen 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 we can all say and think what we want about kim k but her makeup always flawless impeccable it's just perfection and she wears looks that i don't see myself wearing because they're usually kind of matte this is the way that it turned out let me give you a little bit of a close-up so just a very snatched smoky eye before we get into the tutorial if you're new here i'm nats i do makeup and skincare here on youtube i want my channels to be a space where we take an as realistic and true but it's a fun approach to beauty so if that sounds like a jam please subscribe and let's get into the video so today i will be using only drugstore products some of them are swedish drugstore products some of them are drugstore product products here in the states but if i choose one that is not available somewhere else i will try to add in an option next to it so it's available both in europe and in the states we're going to start with priming our eyes i'm going to use the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer nc7 this one should be available to most people what I like to do is I like to put some on my hand and then I kind of go in with, why do I say kind of all the time? I go in with my fingers and I just work it into the skin because it is a matte concealer and I want it to dry down matte because it's going to be a great base for my eye makeup, but I just find that this way I make a matte concealer work the best by giving it some warmth you know and working it in with my fingers the thing with her eye is and i mean this is probably just a matter of how this picture is taken and how it's edited and all that but it kind of looks like her eye makeup is kind of melting in up into her bronzer she doesn't have a lot of like space left on her eyelid where or under her brow where it's just her natural skin color or like a highlighting color so it's almost like the eyeshadow transfers all the way up into the forehead if you guys watched one of my videos where i was trying on new drugstore makeup i showed you this palette from Juvia's place this is the um sorry this is the nubian palette and you wanted me to use it because it's full of neutrals it's affordable you know you could create neutral eyes very easily with this one so we're going to use that today i'm going to start by going into this kind of orangey brownish color and then we're gonna go on to this one so we're gonna start here and then we're gonna deepen with this one basically this is gonna cover our entire lid so this is gonna be our base and transition color so just go in with a light hand and start building this brownish orange up so I'm just going in and I'm building this I'm starting above my fold or above my crease and i'm just blending 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 i'm also bringing it very far up as you can see so that's kind of like just leaving a little strip of my skin color up there and then i will just start to pack this on the entire lid all the way in and all the way out and when i get to like almost the end right here i just flick it upwards and blend it inwards now we're gonna go in to that light brown almost camel color and we're gonna start deepening this up so this color we're gonna concentrate right here and when i say right here if you fully relax put your brush right on your fold almost at the end not all the way out on your eye because with a hooded or downward tilting eye especially you want to lift it so don't ever go all the way down try to stay here and work upwards and i'm just going in as we always do and starting to work 
this color in. It's gonna make this whole look just a little bit, I don't know, deeper. Now I'm gonna grab a even fluffier blending brush. It looks like this. And I'm gonna go into the darkest shade. This one right here, it's just dark matte brown, very cold brown. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Not tricky, but like you need to be very careful with the amount of product you grab. I take the tiniest bit and I'm very precise with the placing and I just build it up very slowly. So I'm barely touching that color, dusting it off, and then I'm starting right out here, as I said before, where we always start with our color. And I'm just blending that in circular motion. Already, we've got a little bit more of a darkness, so going in very lightly again, dusting it off, and working that in. And then just blending it so there's no harsh lines. So once again, doing the same. You can also work it a little bit in right down here on your lash line and then work your way up a little bit. It's almost like you're gonna wanna darken up the outer V. And when I say the outer V, it's a V like this. So it's kinda down this way, up this way, like a V surrounding your crease. Really working on that V shape. Another way you could do that is you go in with that other end, which is like flat and square, and you take the tiniest amount, even less than last time, dust it off, and then you kind of just create that shape that V shape and then you go in and you blend. Blending is really the freaking key when it comes to this look. Grabbing a little bit more then we'll be happy and we're gonna go to the next step and then we might build it up a little bit later just to match that other eye. Yes, it's a very, very good start indeed. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna work with a cold pencil, my favorite. Um, so we're gonna tight line one at first because Kim K, sis has got some thick lashes, even though sometimes they do wear fake lashes like I am today, I have a couple of individual ones on, but she does have very thick, long, natural lashes and I don't. So we're gonna tight line because it helps give the appearance of a thicker lash line. I'm just putting that on a angled brush like this. And then I'm just gonna go in a tight line. You've seen this a million times. I basically just stamp this or apply it basically in my lash line. So now I'm gonna go in with a very small detail brush like this. This is a pencil brush from Makeup Geek. And I am going to take some of that cold liner. You can also do this with like a black eyeshadow. It doesn't really matter. I'm just taking that on that little brush and then I'm basically blending it out just out here on my outer corner because it looks like she's got some fluffiness going on right here. So kind of like that, I'm just keeping it on the outer third of my eye, outer half maybe even. And if you need to, you can go into that very dark brown shadow and keep blending to just blend it so that it looks very seamless and blend it out. Then to further frame our eyes, go in with any, any, when I say any, I mean any felt tip eyeliner that you have. This is one from Miss Adora. I love the one from Milani. I love the one, I like the one from Glossier too. There's so many good drugstore options for this category and we're not doing a liner. I'm just simply stamping this across my lash line. Just so lightly stamping this. So you see that line? No more than this. And just all 
along my lash line. Lastly, I'm gonna um, line my waterline with the cold pencil. So, I am quickly gonna go and do some mascara. I use the CoverGirl Total Tees Hydrofuge. I read the French side or something, I don't even know, or what the fuck that was. Uh, waterproof mascara. I only use waterproof mascaras because I have short lashes. I need them to stay up all day. They don't, they're really stubborn. And I do that because I also don't like the fallout that I usually get from mascaras. So waterproof is the way to go to me. I'm gonna do it and I'll be right back. So for lashes, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do them off camera, but I do have an entire video of how I do them. I'll link it up here. The ones that I use are the Ardell Faux Mink Individuals. They come in like short, medium, long. So I'm gonna do maybe two to three medium ones on my outer corner and one short one just to blend it in with my lashes and my lash length. I'll be right back. Okay, eyes are done. This is the way the lashes turned out. I'm very happy with that, very fluttery. So I think I might have forgotten to film when I did my concealer, I'm not sure. But what I did is I went in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C7. I put some on my hand and then I put it in like, put it in? <laughs> what? Applying it with my fingers because I, I just don't like a very matte concealer. This one is very matte, but I find that it looks well this way. And Kim K has this sort of like highlighted look on her under eyes. So I need to use a concealer like this. But yeah, I just put some on my hand, kind of rub my finger into it, and then I just press it in like this, if that makes sense. Listen guys, new things are happening. Our ways have changed. I, you know, I, I do evolve as a human being and as a makeup enthusiast, and I'm gonna powder today. I bought a powder. I'm gonna powder because Kim K powders. And I'm just gonna, just a tiny bit though. Very, like not a lot. I'm not baking. I'm not doing the whole beauty blender pack on the powder thing. But I have this LA Girl Pro Powder in Banana Yellow. And I'm just gonna grab the tiniest amount of that. I'm just doing this and swirling it in there. Tapping it off and I'm so lightly just going to do this. I'm going to like just pat it on my under eyes to make sure that I'm setting that concealer. Okay. Wow, I can't believe that powder actually looks okay. <laughs> so for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Milani Baked Bronzer in 05 Soleil. This is the perfect warm bronzer. Got this new brush from Isadora and it works very well with this bronzer because a too soft brush really doesn't pick up a lot of this bronzer. It's for some reason, it you kind of have to like dig into it. So you need kind of a sturdy brush to actually get some color payoff with this. <laughs> We're gonna bronze now, okay guys? Don't use it sparingly. Like, kick that shit on today. Because Kim K, sis does not joke around with that tan. This bronzer, you need to try it. It is a little bit, like it has a little bit of like shimmers in there, so it does give glow. You need to re-conceal that rash because that rash is getting freaking angry right now. It's coming out to play. For our blush, I'm gonna use the Isadora Perfect Blush in 01 Warm Nude. It looks like she's got a little bit of warmness going on so it's just a warm blush any warm blush from the drugstore will do if you use this one make sure to just grab a little just grab a little because you know a little goes a long way so i'm just put, putting that on the apples of my cheeks let's line our lips i'm going to use the nyx soft suede matte lip liner in sandstorm
There we go. Then I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cabo. It's just a pink. And lastly, the Makeup Revolution Sheer Brilliant Lip Gloss in Knockout, a peachy shade, so that it kind of matches, you know, the rest of her face. Just for a little bit of gloss. Okay, you guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you liked how this look turned out. I hope you liked this recreation and that it helped you achieve, or that it helps you achieve the Kim K look of your dreams. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you in the next one.